oh my god, he's not gonna make it, don't waste your time. Within a few days, he's gonna die, right? So I, I'm a few weeks, I won't say that, that bold. Um, but then the, 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 the person actually on the other line actually sort of talked to my wife, and my wife actually mailed her, I think, mean, two small boxes of it. And they got it, and then we got the call later on, um, saying that actually he wasn't able to take it. So the family take it, take a little thing, and keep dropping it in mouth. It took four hours to finish one pack. Because his family, you have to work, so <laughs> it's, yeah, sure. it's part of the life, yeah. right? So mm -hmm. it's not easy, not 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 just difficult for the patient itself, but also for the for the family. You have to stick your hand. You don't, you don't have an IV drip, right? <laughs> But we love this is part of life, right? So, and actually at that time, um, I heard that the um, hospital in Hong Kong willing to take this gentleman in to Hong Kong if his cancer is being more controlled well. But um, but then after that, actually, what I heard later on, he was able to go to Hong Kong. He went to Hong Kong. Uh, he did die after a year or two. All right, okay. So uh, it's not to say there's no miraculous drug in this world to cure any fit. Mm -hmm. But at least he can finish his unfinished businesses. Yes. yes, all his problem with his family, his wife, daughter, whatever, that he can finish. Or he get he basically use he pay essentially who is he pay medicine to buy time for himself. Yes. Is it worth it? No. Sometimes it's worth it. That depends on how expensive the medicine is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, obviously, end of time. I mean, I wouldn't spend thousand, thousand dollars. People usually at the end of time. I, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Right. So, uh, people tell me this, and my cousin tell me that, family tell me that, friends tell me that. Oh, it's two thousand dollars. You can help you. Kind of thing. I'm gonna pay because I'm gonna. I don't want to die. Kind of thing. Like so, um, it's worth it if you can really sure it works. Unfortunately, nobody knows. Not him or him, right? You cannot tell whether I'm taking away, I'm going to be alive and live another two years, even I'm going to stage four. Because the gentleman yesterday here, stage four lung cancers, right? So he was talking about that. So actually, he was on him or him, he was coughing like crazy before, and then now he's getting more stable, his cancer strings. Now, this is one other example. It doesn't mean that it's going to go away, or not everything going to happen the same. Everybody going to get cancer like this, it's going to be like that. But there's somebody hitting, sitting, standing right here to talk about, and it's real. I mean, uh, there are other cases that about um, cancers at the end stage. Uh, some of them did die, right, okay? But I mean, some of them do survive longer than they expected. And the important thing is, you want to, uh, during your ending times, uh, you want to live well. Yeah. If you got um, low white cells, you cannot continue your chemotherapy, first of all. Yeah. If you have low white cells, you can get more cough or pneumonia or something like that. During a complication, do you, some unexpected suddenly. Some people usually people die with cancer because not because of their the cancer eating way they do, but if they're doing the cause of therapy, they have complications like pneumonia or whatever major problem, and they just go away. And sort of family got shot. Oh my god, I'm not ready for that kind of thing like that. So it's uh, it's good to have something to boost up your human system. Most people who take it has much less side effect. We have people actually don't have any side effect. So actually with the chemo, while they're on chemo radiation. So it's, uh, um, it actually helps, right? But aside from being so serious and uh, you don't want to, we don't want to get to that stage, right? <laughs> Everybody don't want to be like that. I rather die heart, die heart attack, right? True, right? You just go quickly, clean. You don't want to left any mess behind, just make your things ready. So, um, and well, obviously not too young, right? you don't want to be young. <laughs> when you get to that stage, true. But can, can most people die suddenly? Do you think it's true or not? Yes. No, no, no. Most people don't no. do that I, so. I only had two cases in my whole entire career. Mm. Some people slip away. Uh, my roommate woke up and the grandmother was gone the next day. Mm. If she's surprised she'd been doing well, extremely rare. People usually suffer. We all will too. Mm. So if we can try to help to not really get away, but minimize the suffering, mm -hmm. this is what we have. Okay. You die better, hopefully. Yeah. Cannot promise. It's a will God. I mean, what we do, whatever we do, if we can do it with our power, with an affordable price, yeah. that we can pay for it, why don't do it? And this is one reason why him or him is so hot out there. It's always sold out, yeah. and it, people just fight for it around the world. I mean, supplement business, it just booming like crazy. People will spend money on them. People wouldn't buy 
Because now the price is all reasonable, but we will be people out there willing to pay a lot, a thousand dollars to buy that kind of thing. So it's good opportunity to grab it while you can. Now there are many, not just this, I mean even for drugs itself, the medication not available now. Because the government is selling to overseas, and people can buy overseas and buy, so many medications are being short now. You, you can stock up your medicine if you want to. <laughs> but you don't know, maybe in 10 years, it's not covered by the government anymore. Who knows? Uh, yeah. I'm not saying that, but I mean, you don't know when it's going to happen. Yeah. There's a lot of cutback already in the general medical system, the state, after Obama thing, it's a lot, it's really quite difficult. So. So it's, we don't know what's going on. We are quite lucky at this generation. We still got free freebies, free medicine, kind of thing like when you get 65 years old. But we don't know within uh, my generations or my kids, you don't know what's going to happen now. So it's better to be safe. So safe for your, if you're just, just simply from a health point of view, if you're healthy, then you don't have to get so much burden to the, to the, to the kids or the grandkids. Okay, for your kids, okay, uh, he's already got his job, he's decent, he's working uh, in downtown Toronto, he's doing well, I don't care about kind of thing like that. So, but actually it's not true, may not be true for the grandkids. So, I'm doing this for the kids. Okay? I, I'm, 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 I'm saying my, my, my income is okay, but I mean, but I really want to be healthy myself. I want them, I'm giving them, actually, the, my little one is actually inside, reading his iPad, right? So obviously, right? So what else are you going to expect? <laughs> so, uh, but he's, um, I want to inform him, because this business is good. Um, not talking, not aside from the business, if I'm healthy, he is healthy, hey, why not? With an affordable price. Okay. So, um, I think we'll I'll sort of stop right here. If answer any questions, we've got, 10 minutes you can answer because I have to run another meeting today, unfortunately. So I'll leave it at 11 30. If anyone asks a question, you can raise anytime. <laughs> no, take my time. <laughs> oh, okay. No questions? <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay, one gentleman already there. Yeah. Uh, all these things are very exciting, exciting uh, full of excitement. Oh, okay. 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 And, are the scientific study based on double blind study or some of FDA them are. type of clinical Some of study? them, some of them are, but not everyone, right? Some of them. There, there are actually more human studying being done now at the present time. Mostly it was animals, obviously, mice in the first time, when it's first time. There's getting more and more um, human study done. Just not only not um, even the, the downgrade itself, actually there are studies done um, by China. Like not not just particular him or him itself. But I mean, for for individual ingredient inside, there are many studies being done. Some of them double buy, yeah. Some of them very double buy. Some of the studies are small, some are big, and so um, you can see that there are increasing study being done, and it's constantly being updated on internet. So I'm sort of looking at, I'm careful looking. Every time when I do a presentation, I look at it and see anything new stuff coming up. So whenever there's new, I'm gonna keep modifying the slides. So later on, if there's some new stuff, I will let you guys know. So people, there's always question being asked, right? People keep having this, and uh, so the more strong the evidence, the better it is. Actually, in Korea, they try to promote the doctors now. Ovarian cancer, according to Mr. Yun, the number one, the one, the friend of Mr. Park told me personally that actually works for most of the time. So they're promoting those, um, the him him to the doctors. If the doctors in Korea actually works, willing to give, and that's, that's fantastic. Now, the, the one of the commonly asked question is, uh, I'm doing my therapy now, I'm chemo, uh, the doctor doesn't want me to take any herbs right. stuff. It's true? Yes, universal. Why? Because lack of understanding, people don't know. And there's so many different stuff outside. If you take something wrong, you screw up, yeah. doctor get liable for that. So that's why they discourage people taking. Mm -hmm. and f and, but in reality, 99.999% people were sitting outside the office who were exchanging information about every product <laughs> behind the doctor's scene. They say doctor there. Are they intentional lie to the doctor? Um, yes, in a way it is. But the thing is, I can understand. When people get desperate, <laughs> when you get desperate, you're going to do something like that. Right? Okay. Is it, um, so is it rational? Most of the time it's rational, but if you can know it, if you, if you have to take your time, you don't wait until you get to that stage. Mm. Take your time, you understand what is health product, mm. well, you pick it, say two or three years, you look and ask your friends, do you know this is a really true, good product? Then rather than jumping to something, right. okay, okay, this one is $1,000 a pill, you're gonna buy that, it helped my buddies. And you might consider that, because our desperation, right? Mm. So, 
during those, there's a, there's a saying that without, when you're going to imagine a toy mall, when your mind is not emotionally unstable, don't make uh, important decision. Unfortunately, when you get to that stage, when we will get to that stage, it's hard, because it's desperate. Mm -hmm. You get sick, right? So well, I'm not, my, I don't know how much longer I'm going to make it. So it's better off to be aware, health or conscious, and plan well ahead of time to treat the unforeseenable. Yeah. The one you never happen, which I hope will never happen with right. the grace of God, obviously. I mean, that, that's something that, that is important. I think it's a wise thing of living, mm -hmm. and that's the way of life. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Uh, uh, generate that in a second after that. So, yes. Uh, uh, when I came here, I had a doubt about it. That we want to, the first time we're here, but before we come here, we, my wife was having hemorrhage. Uh, she is uh, in stage four now, and breast cancer spread to the bone, and to the lung. Yeah. Uh, having uh, first chemo now, uh, after the first uh, radiation. The question is now, in your experience, in our area here, that have you heard anybody had stage four cancer uh, was helped by this? And um, the second thing um, that the in our experience, less than two months um, had the pneumonia. Mm -hmm. White blood counts uh, count was three point two. Should be normal. Uh, should be between four and about. So I don't know whether this helped, but anyway, uh, after that it went up to 3.7. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, after two weeks again, just mm -hmm. before chemo, had uh, the blood work, the count was showing 3.5, 2 point came down. Don't know the reason. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what's your advice? And if any uh, of us around here mm -hmm. um, had the hemo, uh, hemo him and help, uh, yeah. please leave us. Uh, thank you for the questions. The question is everybody here from the back is that uh, this lady right here got stage 4 breast cancers. And uh, the white cells being up and down because she's on present time, she's on therapy, right? Um, now, just like what I said, there was a gentleman yesterday here, right here, stage four lung cancers. He's on him or him for a few months. He was coughing like, uh, he was uh, coughing like, he was uh, coughing like crazy before, and he was having a lot of pain. The pain actually got to his bone. He broke his bone. Ooh. Yeah. Well, when this is called pathological fractures, when you get cancer, you actually eat up the bones and you break it. So it's an extreme cruciating pain, and he uh, actually. Um, uh, anybody know excruciating word coming from, right? Extremely painful. It's like leaning on the cross. That's what it is from. Yeah. How when you're dying on the cross, just like Jesus is, mm -hmm. and this is how to go excruciating, extreme pain. Um, so um, he actually on him or him now for a few months. Actually, he can. He's he doesn't look like a. Look like he has. He was actually had that sick. He was talking with good voice, no cough at all, and his cancer from I think he says three centimeters. Drop to around one point something centimeters. He got twenty lumps in the lung. Half of them got sizes got down. He didn't tell me the the the, the white cells, but he actually the bone is the whole body is really bad already, and he lost twenty pounds within a couple of months I believe. Something like that, right? So now he's he's getting a little slightly more on that. Now their internet on their just uh, people seeing on the internet. I mean I don't rely too much on internet. There's a there's a thing that oh I got a uh, my dad is in Hong Kong actually got prostate cancer stage four. Big better. There's a doctor in Taiwan who dermatologist actually got stage four lymphoma. Now he's still is he still living? I don't know. He didn't write any more on the blog. Maybe he's gone. I don't know. <laughs> but he was okay. He was on him. He was testimonial on the him. He actually on the internet. He wrote it down. Yes. It's real. This is real. And the prostate cancer thing, I'm not sure because there's only one phrase, maybe fake or not. But the thing is, the bottom line is uh, many things that actually many life testimonial um, in among one of the nurses before was in the in the hospital there. She was doing okay, but she did die fi finally. Uh, it's theoretically it should help you to boost your immune system, so you have to press on to it. Initially, when you take chemotherapy, you're gonna get all these side effects, unpleasant because these are the detoxification period. You got the toxin pouring up from your liver and kidney. And people get uh, stomach problem, dental problem, gums pain, and people, my wife got little 
like skin tone on the on the on the neck coming up. But if you press on for few months, it will actually get see different. You get through the stage. I mean, for those really sicky, like uh, someone who really bad cancers, that you need to take around six, somewhere you eight a day. I mean, the gentleman yesterday dropped down to four day now. He was six, and he dropped to four. It's because his cancer is drinking, and he's quite happy about it. And he's back. Uh, he's not working. He's not working now. Things working. But he's uh, he's doing quite well now. So, but we get the finger crossed. We're going to see how it goes. Um, and so there are testimony around. That you're going to hear more and more people on the internet talk about how things like that. Um, that actually helps. So theoretically, the unofficial web page will say that you take around three pack a day for normal people for a few months. That you can see a difference, right? But I mean, for those really sicky and really want to take more, I take around one to two a day. It depends. It's available because it's often sold out all the time, right? Because everyone love it. So and uh, yeah, that's that's what it is, and hopefully it will help. But it's very safe for the chemo. Can you take it? Yes, you can. Uh, what are you going to tell your doctor is up to you. All right, okay. <laughs> All right, I won't say anything, but it's up to you guys whether you want to say anything, right? So, uh, but okay. And one more question at the end. I'm at the back. Oh, okay. No, one more. One, uh, sorry, one, one last question because I thought the lady was okay. Yes, you can. Hey, you want it? Um, at present, I'm taking um, a, a, about uh, five uh, vitamin supplements uh, at the moment. I, I wonder how can I time myself to take the thermonium. I was told that uh, it should be taken uh, like uh, three times daily. Then how can I time myself? Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's no fixed thing here because it's, uh, it's not a prescription. Okay, it's only a supplement. So um, I take it empty stomach. Yeah, people actually on the other team actually makes good milk. <laughs> I mean, I, mean, I heard it. But yeah, right. So it makes milk and, and we give it to the kids. Okay, my kids just sip it like that. I give it to my kids. So um, it's um, I probably I prefer not to mix with any other supplement. Right, most likely it's not going to be problem. Like you take a medication, for example, you take four or five together. Mm. Is it okay? Mm. Most of the time, it's actually it's okay. Yeah. And because you don't have first of all, you don't have time. Yeah. You don't want to be the slave of taking medicine or herbal supplement. Mm. If you're chasing the tail, you take ten medications, include uh, plus supplement. If you count it every hour to take it, what are you gonna do? You carry this thing with you, you go to work, you keep popping, dropping one, and go to pee, kind of thing like that. No, it's not the way it is. These are things designed to you from God, actually from human, to have service, not we serving them. We are not the servant. Do not be the slave. I was telling my clients, take on a hundred medicine in the morning. Your grandma, your grandma is so much sick, I'm so busy, I have to run to you at work and come home late. I don't know where grandma taking this thing and all. Give it out to her in the morning, give it at night time. Make it easier. They actually medicine being made out that lasts for one day or two days, whatever. So supplements actually I would say just I'll take it in the morning, sometimes noontime, night time, try to space it out. But if it was really busy, can I take a few supplements together? Yes, you can. Okay. The worst thing is that it can interact. It's affecting the absorption, rather raise it up or decrease the efficiency of the medication or whatever supplement you have. Yeah. But hey, you take it every day anyway. So unless you read something really crucial that you, you're affecting like heart disease or, or something blood thinner, you take it, you push you off the limit, you bleed like crazy, then you be careful. But your office, you have to go back to the doctors. Remember, what I say here today is uh, my own opinion, okay? Always check with the doctor. If you take to take medication and supplement you're concerned about, it, okay, you can ask us. You're here, welcome to here. Come for the meeting on Saturday. Uh, but obviously, do uh, it's a promotion, right? So, <laughs> right. but do you do check with the doctors too? Right? Is something you're concerned that your medicine that do do go back to the doctors? Don't just say that. Okay, don't just have policy feeling. Either this will work or that will work. supplement will work or just medicine will work. Always be open mind. Yes, this is very important. Yes. Okay, thank, thank you, everybody. So